how are bishops and archbishops appointed in the Catholic Church, especially the Latin Church or the Western Church? According to the dogmatic constitution on the Church, Lumen Gentium, which was promulgated by Pope Paul VI in 1964, number 21, it states that by episcopal consecration is conferred that fullness of the sacrament of orders, that fullness in which in the church's liturgical practice and in the language of the Holy Fathers of the church is undoubtedly called high priesthood or the apex of sacred ministry. And the word bishop which we use today in the church comes from the Greek episkopos, which means an overseer. So in this video, we will learn how bishops are appointed by the Pope in the Catholic Church. In the Catholic Church, bishops and archbishops are appointed by the Pope. When a diocese falls vacant, which is technically called sede vacante, then the appointment process begins. And the Apostolic Nuncio, who is the ambassador, the Vatican ambassador, inquires for names and seeks opinions from bishops and priests and also anyone else he thinks appropriate. There is one essential element in the appointment of bishops and archbishops. This element is called Eternus. The Apostolic Nuncio compiles Eternus. Eternus is a list of three names. That is, names of candidates who are presented for this office of the bishop. And whenever the Apostolic Nuncio presents the Eternus, he compiles the names and adds his own opinion to the three names and sends it to the Holy See. And you know, the whole process of the compilation of the Ternus and the opinion of the Apostolic Nuncio presenting the names to the Apostolic See is confidential, which is technically called sub secreto pontificio, which is a pontifical secrecy or something which is subjected to pontifical secrecy. Is there any canonical requirement for persons becoming bishops and archbishops? Yes, there are canonical requirements. And according to the canon law, especially Canon 378, Paragraph 1, for a person to be suitable for the office of the bishop, number one says that the person must have good morals, must have strong faith, he must have virtue, piety, zeal for souls, and the person must possess other qualities which will offer him into this office. And number two says that the person must be held in high esteem. Number three says that he must have at least 35 years of age. And number four says that he must at least be ordained for five years in the ministry. Number five states that a person must hold a doctorate or at least obtain a licentiate in sacred scripture, theology, or canon law from ecclesiastical higher institutes approved by the Holy See, or at least must be well versed in these disciplines. Paragraph two of Canon 378 states that the definitive judgment on the suitability of the candidate for Episcopal office lies or rests with the Holy See. And when the person accepts this office, there is three months that is given to the person 
for the public or ordination to the office of the bishop. So this is how bishops and archbishops are appointed in the Western Catholic Church. Anytime you go on your knees, pray for the bishops, that the higher priesthood that they possess, the fullness of the priesthood that they possess, they may utilize this role of the Good Shepherd and lead the church into heaven. Thank you for watching and share with your friends to know how bishops and archbishops are appointed in the Catholic Church. Thank you.